if emails or meetings are connected to your OneNote information, you can very quickly send that information over to OneNote. So I have an email here that I really want to connect to my uh, uh, notebook that I started in OneNote. I simply select the email and from the Home tab in Outlook, I choose Send to OneNote. It will then bring up some recent sections that I've been in thinking, well, maybe you'll choose one of these. Uh, what this does is it takes the subject. So the subject of this particular email is schedule-weekly-topsender uh, recipient. Uh, that will become the page name and everything in the email will be copied over. So I just need to find where I want this. Oh, let's put this in the branding page of our website redesign. I choose save. Now, something you'll want to be careful about, there is an option you have to activate inside of Outlook. It's not the default option. This is found in File, Options, Advanced, all the way down here at the bottom. There is an option of use send to OneNote with OneNote for Windows 10 if available. So if you don't activate that, it will tell you, well, start up OneNote. And you'll be like, I've already started up OneNote. So, but let's advance over to OneNote. I, if I choose this open in OneNote option that it's offering me, it's going to use the online, not the Windows 10 version of OneNote. Well, that's okay. I am going to slide back to this one. I'll find the actual page, uh, the section that I requested, which was branding. And sure enough, here is the email. It's the last page, schedule weekly, top sender recipient, brought over. Everything in the email is here. I don't have to do much to make that happen. Also, meetings can be transferred. Now, meetings have a bit more going on. So let's go back to Outlook, switch into our calendar, find a meeting that I think really belongs in OneNote. So I am going to double click into this particular meeting. And again, from the ribbon, this time the meeting tab, there should be a meeting notes OneNote option. Selecting this brings back sections again. This time I'll choose the meeting notes section and I will save it. Now, both of these options may take a little while for it to appear in OneNote. It has to be synchronized. So if it doesn't show up immediately, don't panic. Just uh, give it a few seconds. So let's see if it has shown up yet in our OneNote section, this time in meeting notes. Well, there it is. The web design update is the name of this meeting. Again, the subject of the email becomes the name of the page. Now, on this one, not only do all the participants uh, come here, I have a link back to Outlook. If I do want to go back to Outlook, perhaps change something about uh, the actual original time, uh, because changing it here uh, would not do anything back in the actual original meeting. But down here, notes. If I do have notes, these would get transferred back into Outlook. So I have the full functionality of OneNote, but I'm also connected to Outlook.